the Razer Blade has never looked better. This laptop has gone through a complete redesign that's thinner and sleeker than ever before. So Razer has completely retooled the look of the blade, and it's really drop-dead gorgeous. The corners are slightly more squared off, giving it a, no pun intended, edgier look that's still really, really classy. The chassis is black aluminum, which is par for the course for the blade, but Razer's green tri-headed snake icon continues to feel like the lower back tattoo of laptop logos, and its presence here really kills some of that elegance. But the whole thing is just 4.6 pounds and 0.7 inches thick, so it's gonna fit in any backpack really, really easily. And when you open it up, the bezels are barely there, and it looks awesome around the 15.6 inch screen. But there's one issue, which is that the 1080p 144 hertz display we tested is a little on the dim side at 260 nits. Our average premium gaming laptop is 281 nits. And this thin design also means you get this keyboard with just one millimeter of travel, so it bottoms out and isn't all that comfortable to type on. The Blade we review came armed with Intel's Core i7 H series CPU, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 with Max-Q design, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a 512 gigabyte SSD. And that's great for gaming. It's powerful enough for VR, and it played through all of our benchmarks above a smooth 60 frames per second. It wasn't always the fastest, but it was one of the most consistent machines. This also meant that it's really solid for productivity tasks, like our Excel spreadsheet test. It generally only lagged behind ASUS's ROG Zephyrus M G501, which was only slightly faster. The battery life on gaming laptops is usually pretty bad, but I was pleasantly surprised by the blade. It ran for 5 hours and 54 minutes on our battery test, giving it slightly more endurance than other gaming notebooks. The average is less than 4 hours, so it's not as good as lots of ultra portables, but it's nothing to sneeze at for a gaming rig. The Razer Blade's new design makes it an absolute stunner. Razer continues to be one of the few laptop makers regularly challenging companies like Apple in the design department, and I also appreciate that it lasts longer than many other gaming notebooks on a charge. However, the display should be a little brighter for this much money, because it starts at $1899, and ours with the faster 144Hz display was $2599. MSI's GS65 Stealth Thin is almost as small and lasts nearly as long, but includes a brighter, more vivid display. It's also cheaper at $21.99.99 for a similar configuration, so that's an option you should also look at. But if what you care about most are looks and you want Razer's chroma colors, the new 15-inch blade will serve you well. You just won't have the best screen on the market. For Laptop Mag, I'm Andrew E. Friedman.